we just started with a couple of people in 1983. We had a, an ice cream recipe in the family and we started to make it at the Cavendish Boardwalk. We didn't really have any idea that would uh, be as interesting to people or as well known as it is. It's the last 30 years and, uh, and still going forward, it's a, it's a great feeling. 15 years ago, uh, I went to the Orkney Islands, which is north of Scotland, uh, where about nine generations ago our family came from, and got to know a cheese maker there, uh, who I thought was making fantastic cheese. He helped me with the recipe and so on, and when we came back, we started uh, making cheese. And then in the last uh, four years, we started making our uh, cow's creamery sea salted butter. We make our butter one batch at a time. We put it into a churn. It's a little larger than what your great-grandparents would have used, but it's the same process. We put it in, we shake it up, and you know, it's almost like magic. It is a throwback to another time. Butter was made at home on the farm. We wanted to kind of recreate that flavor. Our butter has more moisture removed, but so you're left with a much creamier, richer butter. And with the addition of the sea salt, it brings a little sharpness to it. I use it on everything, whether it is lobster, whether it's potatoes or, you know, my mother's biscuits, uh, they're fantastic. It, the butter just really tops it off. It's a beautiful place. Uh, Prince Edward Island is a, you know, the landscape is uh, terrific. And certainly the, the quality of the milk that's produced here, it's 100% Canadian milk. It makes a difference in the cheese, the butter, and the ice cream and, and people recognize that and uh, we'll never vary from that. And once people get here and they look around and they see the scenery, they meet the people and they taste the food that we have to offer, um, I think yeah, they go away with happy memories. <laughs>